Yeah, it was successful last night. If you do not see the entire Motorcycle Madhouse podcast, you're missing out. At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday, you're going to be able to see it on YouTube or listen to it on YouTube mi Music. It's the whole show. Over an hour of stuff. Hour 15, something like that. So don't forget to check that out. But I wanted to talk about something here. Talk about something. Change of pace from the usual biker news. And that is where has the honor among thieves gone? Now you're probably saying, what the heck are you talking about? Let's be honest. Not all cookies and ice cream out there. There is stuff that has changed so much. And you know what? <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And it's like, man, where did this come from? Did I come to the Twilight Zone? Or whatever. Because there are so many different people now on the internet talking about this kind of stuff. And I actually, you know, Daytona Black Dragons down there and stuff. And I talked to him, I said, man, all these new people coming up and talking all this stuff. And it's like, I'm out of the loop. I, it, it seems like I'm out of the loop. The internet is the biggest thing that has me where I guess you have to say you better evolve with the times, Hollywood. Because I remember the days you wanted to go do something, you wanted to get around a club or something, you went up and shook their hand, hung around, got to know them until somebody recommended you for a hang around, and then the process starts from there. Nowadays, it's basically, a lot of it is internet based. And I know a lot of the older shows like mine and some others, they rag on that. But you have to say, look out your window. Is there a dinosaur walking by? And you're probably going to say, no. Well, that's because they didn't know how to evolve. And that's just the same thing with the biker stuff. Is you got to evolve with the times. And you have to put some of your biases away and try to open your mind. Because I know a lot of the old guys, like myself, are like, oh my god, everything's ass backwards in this stuff. But that's how communication is done now. A lot of these younger guys, they don't want to sit there and talk to you face to face. They don't know who you are, so they figure, okay, we'll reach out on a website. Even websites are becoming uh, null and void because everything's social media. All the clubs have a social media account. So they'll reach out to you through social media just to get information and stuff. And uh, could it be a problem? Yes, I guess. And no, I guess. Because I'm only guessing because I don't know. It could be beneficial to a club to be able to get people interested in their club off of social media. Now, how you go about it is a different thing. If they, you know, email you up and say, hey, you know, I'd like to know more about you. Hey, cool. Come to one of our open houses. Let's talk. Hang around for a few months. Let's get to know each other. And I can see it going from there with that type of contact. What I don't understand is when you get some people that contact the club, and I'd have to say this is probably the club's fault, that automatically they want to pop up a new charter or a new chapter all over the country or all over the world. I don't think that's the right way to use this new communication tool. I believe you still can stick to the old ways of doing stuff without jeopardizing your beliefs and core values. Because it's a tool. Hey, even cell phones are extinct as far as calling people. It's all text. It's all messaging. 
and that's the way it is. And when you have a pool of people to draw from, you have to do whatever you can. Because let's admit it, a lot of these guys are pretty timid. They don't want to go up to a club member, shake their hand. Even if they see him in a bike night, they don't know. Because I, <laughs> I'm one of them guys that, uh, you know, didn't believe in the protocol channel stuff. But stepping back and learning that, hey, yeah, this is the way it's going now. What's wrong with you, Hollywood? This ain't five years ago. This ain't ten years ago. This is the way things are done now. And you look at all the TikTok, the Instagram, all the communication going, and the smarter clubs are really doing this. They're they're utilizing this new technology. But when let's swing it around again. Honor among thieves. There used to be a time when somebody's word meant something. And all you had to do was have a handshake and somebody's word. And unfortunately, that isn't the case anymore. Sometimes we see in the news where people are getting beat up in front of their kids. Or, God forbid, something worse happens. And this don't even have to do with clubs. I'm talking to everybody. It used to be you stay away from a family handle your business elsewhere but that's not the case anymore because we see it time and time and time again where you see a break in that honor among thieves and that right there is quite disappointing and I would have to say that goes to the character if you're talking about a club of not doing their homework on somebody like that they're getting off the internet, for example. I truly believe, like a lot of other people say, a hangaround and a prospect probate period is essential to getting to know somebody. And background checks. Oh my god, you can learn so much from a background check. More than just if they have a criminal record. You can see their associates that they're tied to. Their associate, associates that they have. You can go down the line and see somebody if somebody's a cop in the family. Or extended family. Or one of their friend's family. So much to do. And I believe that a lot of the bigger clubs start that in the hangaround period. Let's start your background. And that gives you all them months to research everything, but you got to be committed to doing so. I think a lot has been lost on somebody's word. I think a lot has been lost when somebody's wrong, you admit it. Hell, I've been wrong a lot on Insane Throttle Biker News. But at least I come out and say it. I'm wrong. Do a message retraction, something like that. There's no shame in that because you're growing as a person. And what that does is give you a core group of guys that bond together. That's what everything's supposed to be about, right? Is bonding. But when you have no honor, how are you? you're like the bad apple that's going to make everybody else sour. That's where all the politics and clubs come from is people with all these ambitions that poison the pool. I hate to say it, poison the pool. For one, I don't know why anybody would want to be in charge of half the stuff they want to be in charge of. Too many headaches, man. Too many headaches. But that ambition, it's something that it involves human aspiration. That's something that's primal in a person, I guess. The, you know, we used to say love and respect a lot a couple decades ago, and that meant that. But now it's just used like brother is. It's watered down, it really don't mean anything. And there's one thing that the internet has done to it. Everybody uses it. 
It's like we live in two virtual worlds. One is reality, and the second is online. So yeah, a lot of it is taken away from somebody's words, somebody's honor as a person. And hopefully, we can find that again. It's going to be a hard sell. Trust me, it's going to be a hard sell to try to teach these kids how it should be done. While at the same time, getting the older guys to say, hey, we got to change ourselves. We got to turn around and learn from them as well. Because they're living in the digital age where we didn't have that. Come on, man. We had rotary damn phones in the houses. Then we came in with these flip phones. You know, we were slow to all this technology where they were born into it. So that's what they know. And we have to shut up and say, you know what? We better learn. This is the way things are done now, or we're going to go to the extent of the dinosaur and fall and fail. That's just some thoughts that I had that popped up in my mind and stuff. Again, the full show of Motorcycle Madhouse will be available on YouTube Music at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, as well as the video portion. We're going to bring in China Dow right now after this break. Be right back. Rock on. Join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club. Two ways to join over on Spotify and YouTube Insane Throttle Biker News. News's channel, by the way, with your membership, you get exclusive content Monday through Friday. China Dow's on there with me. Y'all love China Dow. Also, you get an invite to the yearly Rumble in the Woods where we get together, have parties, have fun. So make sure you join the Insane Throttles Members Only Club over on Spotify or YouTube. Rock on! 